All right, guys, another day. Uh, caught a beaver here, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Uh, used Dale Billingsley's uh, lure again, and another beaver in a snare. And you can see there, my snare almost missed. I got him by the tail. And so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get him dispatched uh, before he breaks loose or, or gets too worked up. But that'd be beaver number 18, this first set I checked today. So on we go. All right guys, and here's that uh, 45, 45 is a guess, pound flat tail. Got it by the tail. I think what happened is it came up around my blocking to the caster stick and then went back down and I think that's why we got him by the tail you know my loop could have been a hit big too but you know at least there's no snare damage and we got another beaver so I mean I'm gonna call that a win we'll get this set remade all right guys and here we are again with another beaver good size one I'd say, uh, you know, a 30, 35 pounder. I'm just guessing. Got him by the back hips. Not really what I, where I was going for, but nonetheless, beaver in the trap. We'll get a little bit closer without falling down the bank. And so anyways, I think that's number 19. So, starting to really enjoy this beaver trapping. And here's a close up on that big, big beaver. And we'll go ahead and take care of this one. But my gosh, guys, I'm having some fun out here. I'm not even kidding. I got more beaver than I than I can skin. You know, really like that chips by Dale Billingsley. That's what I've caught four beaver in a row on now. Hey guys, here's number twenty. See him up there in a foothold. That's pretty special for me. That was my goal. Uh, you know, I tried lowering it to five to ten, and I hit those numbers, and then I went to the number I originally wanted. That'd be number twenty. You can see up there, caught by the front foot. I don't know if you guys can see that. And a number three. And it's a nice beaver, you know, 20 beaver. My first spring really going after it like this. We'll take it. You know, if you guys aren't getting out there in the spring, you're missing out on some fun. And uh, right there's an example, number 20. Have a good one, guys, gals. And so uh, where we just got that one, I missed two other locations. One with the foothold, one with the snare at the same area. All right, the snare, you could tell he stepped in the mud and uh, slid down the bank right when he got to uh, the snare. And it, you could tell the snare kind of followed him, but you could see his tracks, what happened. This one, my gosh, guys, look at the luck on that. There was a pebble underneath uh, the river down there where I had it set. That's one lucky beaver. <laughs> so, anyways, one here out of three sets. Two bear, barely misses. Uh, we'll try to clean that up. And keep an eye out for pebbles, huh? All right, guys. So, uh, this beaver number 21 right here. This is how he was when I walked up on him. You see there, and I've done this before, you can use your snare support sometimes as a uh, to help choke them out dispatch the animal quicker you can see here it worked uh, i planned it this way i just put the snare support a little deeper down and uh, that way that animal was dispatched humanely by the time i got here that's beaver number 21. so uh anyways yeah that's kind of how that works and getting ready to hit up a big uh Big trap line on the river tomorrow with a buddy. I'll talk about that later here in the video. And here's a remake on that. 
just so you guys can kind of see the setup. There's a, uh, you know, Dale Billingsley's lure. I got my snare. I got it blocked off with a couple saplings on each side. And then down there, I tossed a stick down there. Uh, right down there. With a little bit of lure on it. I notice the closer you get at the water, you can work them up the bank a little bit. I like getting them up high sometimes. That way, when they snare, they commit to, uh, because of the height, they have to commit their body more. So anyways, there's that set up. All right, guys. Snared us another beaver. Made that bank set again. This will be the second beaver at this location. They burrow into the side sometimes of the bank and dig out a hole even. I don't know if you guys can see it back behind there. But I wasn't sure. I thought this one may have been dispatched till I came down here. That's also another reason you don't just uh, go to grab your, your dead beaver. Or, uh, because sometimes they're very much alive and hanging out. First it looked like it was just hanging over the bank dead. I get that quite a bit. But uh, this one's still alive. Again, dispatch is beaver number 22, number two on the day. And uh, pretty good size one. We'll take them uh, that size all the time. So, on the next spot.